me and some other of the art students, um, we went to visit Sophie van Helleman to see her artwork and to see how she worked with watercolour. A lot of these are thinking about music, thinking about the, the Faust theme. So that's the, like the, de the devil in the studio visiting. The watercolours are also very often just uh, drawn from life, like a friend yeah. at my house sitting at the table. It's a, it's a mixture of like what I'm thinking about and what I, what I see. Right yeah, I noticed that you, you use a lot of mythical creatures in your work. Do you think this has anything to do with your background and your upbringing? That's yes, probably. What I, stories I used to read, I was read to when I was little, and, and then stories I, I read now to my daughter. So in this one, I, I was imagining the giant babies building Stonehenge and surrounded by little unicorns and mermaids and other mythical creatures. The reason why I paint is because it's a way of communicating, which is easier for me than talking. So I sort of mix the paints in, in the paints. So I sort of make them, mess them all up. But watercolour mainly suits my work because I, I like to work very quickly and I like the lightness. What inspires you to do new paintings every day? Sometimes it's just I see something on the road that reminds me of something or I read something in a novel that is, is like an amazing image that I would like to see. It's very often not just also the, day, the painting I did the day before that inspires me to make another one, make a, try and make a better one or something that continues from that. And she uses a lot of water in her watercolours, so she doesn't really mind if it comes out too dark or too light. She just basically wants to spread the colour out. Even though she uses large brushes, she likes to put like a lot of detail into her work. I don't really think about technique that much. I think there's a modesty in watercolours that somehow suits the British temperament. And that the very best watercolours are made here. Do you think you'd ever stop painting? I can't imagine at the moment uh, I would stop. Um, I don't think, I mean, I, there's nothing else I can, can do, so okay. <laughs> my time. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I would stop. <laughs> Some of my mates for, that went with me, they actually had a chance to like try to draw or use the watercolours, but it's actually harder than you actually think. I thought it was like, oh, I could, I could do better, basically. But when you actually try, you can actually see that she, she actually needs a lot of practice and that to get everything right. Sophie was like, kind of like, pleased with what they actually had done. So if she was going to use blue, she would work with the blue over the whole page in different sections that she wanted to use it before going on to the next colour. So today, my group are going to show the rest of the groups how Sophie used her techniques and her ways of using watercolour. Why doesn't everybody use a big brush to um, create your interpretation of the building of Stonehenge, which is one of Sophie von Hellerman's pieces? Now that I've seen that how to use watercolours, I want to actually use it in my future like paintings and drawings and stuff. Some of them actually came out with pretty good pictures and they said that watercolour helps them in actually mixing colours and getting their imagination down in paper as quick as possible. You can actually like, use your own way and try to like, invent new ways to use watercolour. 